Yeah, it's good. All right, so with, I think, I think that's everything. Um, and then so you've got like the sound of the harpies coming from uh, above you, and you there's like uh, this whole area has, has got rocks and broken beams and stuff, and you see and from the roof above where that's all come from, and you can actually see sky through the holes in in the the ceiling of this room now and you can still hear the harpies above you you can uh you've got this troll that is like making her way up out of the rubble so tonight unless you deal with things it could all be getting dicey I hundred percent thought she was safe. <laughs> um, yeah, all right. Let's get some sound going. Let's get some sound going, and then we'll talk about that. Actually, um, so Mallory's weakness was overcome a couple of sessions back, and yes. before realizing who she was about to like um, <laughs> find in this uh, in this t- uh, tower. Um, she decided her weakness was that all monsters must die. All monsters yes, must all, die. All monsters are evil and must die. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess before we jump into this session with this troll who is classified as a monster, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> I guess what we need to do is figure out, or maybe talk about how a weakness can um, uh, affect you guys. Um because I don't want it to just be something that you live by 100%. It's not like, a, it's not a, a um, I don't know, an obsession or a compulsion. It's just a, one of your weaknesses. So you, by all means, you could be, if your weakness was to be scared of something, it doesn't mean you just freak out and run away from everything, but it may mean you just find it harder to do things. So in your case, and it's up to you how you want to role play it, but an example might be you just find it very hard to get the thought out of your head that this creature uh, is anything but evil um it might mean that you mistrust yeah. anything they say uh it, i don't want to tell you how to play it but it doesn't have to just be like get out your bow and arrow and put a arrow through it. shoot on sight yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah okay i think all right let's get let's get started uh so this troll this woman um she's sort of wrapped up in a bunch of different layers um she she comes out over the rubble she's still just um it looks like she had like placed some small beams over the top of her and she just like pushed these out so she's still sort of hiding behind some of this rubble um and she says i know what you want i know what you wanted you can't have it get out get out of my tower are you the one that made all the traps downstairs and gave me this rash and that smell Yes, now, if you don't leave, I'll do even worse. How about you bring your neck over here and I'll vent it for you, bitch. And she flinches. She sort of like flinches as you say that. Um, she says, I don't need to come to you to, to, uh, uh, and she's trying to find the words, uh, uh, force, force you to leave. What do you guys think, team? Well, well, well let's slow down here a little bit. Um, we've just come visiting and we're looking for something. Do you live here? I knew it! You're here! You're here for something! I told you I knew why you're here! Yes, we're looking for something. Wait, what do you think we're looking for? Ah! I, I know what you're looking for, but what do, you, what do you think you're here looking for? Um, well, I don't really want to say. We shouldn't really tell her, should we? Yeah. Um, look, uh, we'll say it we? together on the okay. count of three. Three. You're here for three, two, one. In life Treasure. Life. Oh, you didn't say anything. <laughs> I knew it. Me. You're here for the treasure. Mm-mm. Yes, well. I yeah. fooled you just like everything else in this tower. <laughs> Uh, oh, you've been laying tricks. Is, is, it, was, is it you're doing with the toad? What have you done with my toad? Uh, it attacked us. Yes. Did you, is that your toad, is it? Well, it's a menace. Well, it was a menace. 
Well, it's, it's there for your protection. Uh, well, <laughs> it didn't really protect. It attacked me. It, it did a lot of damage to my tummy. Did it stop you from going downstairs? Downstairs? Is there a downstairs? Is there? Oh, I see that you're trying to trick me now. <laughs> look, um, look, I, I don't think that this needs to turn violent. What do you, what do you guys say? Yeah, yeah let's uh, listen. Mallory, what, what's, what's, what's happening in Mallory's head Mallory. right now? Uh, Mallory has come around the corner and seen the troll and registered the troll as not one of her cute goblins. <laughs> It's just oh. drawn her bow and it's just holding behind the guys, just watching this troll and yeah, just considering her next move. Every and time looking every time she looking over her you, shoulder at the stairs. She huh? she's 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 still got like both of her hands on this rock that's in front of her. She and she's anytime she speaks, it's by just quickly like poking her head up out from behind the rock and then sort of getting back down. Just her eyes looking out over the top of this boulder. Um and, and as she her eyes dart between you, every time that she looks over to you, Mallory, she just flinches just a little bit. She's clearly, clearly scared. I think <clears throat> You know, I, I think in this situation, because usually Mar Mallory is quite like chummy and kind of sweet with talking to new people, but because she's actually legitimately scared of this creature, she's just like expressionless, all business, just training the arrow on whatever pops up over that rock. Okay. And, uh, just out of character. We're, we're, we're here for another piece of statue, right? Yes. Not just, yeah. uh, right. Sorry, yeah. It's been a few weeks. This is yeah. where, like, the last rumor was. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking Mallory just has full hunter business face on. Oh. And when the little head comes up, she's like, where's the statue piece? Oh. Let's bring it out. I was going to bring up pickers, American pickers. <laughs> what? But, uh, you know, we're like... Uh, um, antiques dealers or something but if you're, you're just gonna yep go straight for it go straight for no. it tell her the well the you can statue you can piece. add that in <laughs> no no yeah sure you can yeah. add that in <laughs> yes, yes eyes, the uh the, the antique piece her, that her eyes after. just kind of like look away from you ah oh, what, what i don't know what you're talking about a statue piece that's a yes so, should i, I mean, see can I send a warning shot like past if you, if you want to absolutely yes All right and then I quit and then I quickly reload the bow again yeah this arrow soars like are you like trying to get close or are you just sending a message like oh she's she's just sending a message like like fully poker face yeah didn't didn't answer the question just goes to the side zip lets the arrow go puts a new one in Saws. she ducks she she notices it she ducks she probably didn't need to but she ducks anyway and it, <laughs> it hits the stone wall behind her and and she just hear like this ah! it's come out from like behind the rock she says okay okay ah, the statue piece sure i have heard of it i know what you're talking about what do you need the statue piece for as that arrow flies across the room, uh, Wilgus will dash forward and just try and get towards like one side of her a bit. So he, she has to kind of span a bit of a wider pie to see all of the party. Yeah. Uh, the pause as the conversation picks up again. Yeah, her head pops back up to sort of like look back towards Mallory and notices you're not in her line of sight anymore. And instantly she starts to panic and, and pops down, looks around and pops back up and clocks you over to her left now. And now she's sort of darting her head instead of her eyes. She's a little more on edge. Now, my friends here are very zealous uh, antiques hunters. So, you know, the sooner you can help us, the better, because as you can see, they're a little bit loose cannons. And itchy. Itch, itchy cannons. <laughs> Um, with with you moving a bit more to her left, she sort of uh, ducks out from uh, around the rubble and sort of moves a little bit more to her right, sort of trying to get a little bit of distance on you, but she finds herself sort of closing in, uh, uh, the space behind her closing in a bit more. 
Um, and she's looking around, bumping into a rock in her back. She's, like, ah, ah, ah. she's looking around. Um, ah, I, w I would love, I would love to help you. Uh, I would, I would, but. Uh, um. And she points up to the, uh, you know, just up above, and you can hear the cries uh, of the harpies above you as well. Um. Eva, uh, they've got the key. What? What? A key to what? Well, the treasure room. Okay, where, where is this treasure room? Maybe. Well, that was the thing that Toad was, uh, uh, was blocking. We're downstairs. Yes. So it was locked. Um, is the only key? Yes. Are they friends of yours, the uh, harpies? Um, not really, no. Uh, uh, flatmates, antagonistic. No. Antagonistic, that's for sure. <laughs> antagonistic flatmates. Mm. I've had some of those. What? Uh, oh, how about you help us kill them all, and then we can get the key. If I could have killed them by now, don't you think I would have? They got the key. Good point. Maybe kill yourself. <laughs> we could use as a her as. We could use her as bait to draw the harpies away from the key. Who would want this thing? As a bait. Harpy, very uh, polite to me earlier, so I'm not going to guess upon their persuasions of meals. Um, um does it go on. She she's um having now put that out there she sort of walks out from behind this rubble now still keeping an eye on mallory um and she she walks across the room over towards um it's, it's slow it's slow paced as she walks across and as she walks across she says i could do you all a bit of a deal you guys look like the adventuring kind if you can get the key uh, you may have the statuette piece and i can make up all sorts of potions uh, potions for all of you um she sort of giggles to herself and hums a little hums a little tune and it's to the same sort of tune um as the as the um that uh, line that you heard in your heads the um that uh what was it the mm, ghost the moon whispers. in the yeah, yeah, the, those ghostly whispers. It's sort of the same sort of tune, and she's sort of humming it away. The, the overmatch she's you can hear it going, underground, the stars. Wait, 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 wait. I've heard that tune somewhere. What's that from? Uh, let me look quick. Um, she just sort of just, she just waves off as she heads over towards, um, I'll wave it off then. Ah, it's just an old, uh, it's an old rhyme. As she just sort of waves it off and makes her way past you, sort of in between you, mm. Digby and Wilgus, oh. and over towards her um, table of of like potions and flasks. And she says, "I'm sure I've got something here for you. Let's have a quick look. Uh, uh, sleeping poison. Uh, oh, here it is." And she holds up this little green little potion. Ah, a healing potion, I'm sure. These could come in handy for you, shouldn't they? Yeah, you get the key. Maybe I'll give you one of these in return. Hmm. I'll, I'll sniff the ear. She healing potion. <laughs> it's <laughs> probably a laxative, isn't it? Is that what happened to the privy downstairs? <laughs> um, she goes, Ah, the, uh, the dysentery poison. Ah, that's around here somewhere, I think. Do you have strawberry? I mean, I oh, know. <laughs> Uh, did you take it yourself? <laughs> um, she needs like an empty flask just like tipped over. Ah, uh, that would probably explain last night. Mm. Too much fiber. Yeah. I've been there. It, <laughs> it, it was the gluten potion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Poor thing. 100% gluten. Gummies. Well, I'm, I'm uh, watching her closely with her potions. You know, I suppose now, I we think could now, help you out. Now that you but... get close, she just reeks mm -hmm. of smoke. Smoke? Um, as in she's been uh, probably like toiling around over this oh, fire the in the middle of this. <laughs> Not like that kind of smoke. Just uh, yeah, like over the fire. fire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
hang because there's a fireplace in the middle right yeah yeah that's obviously where she works over to create and concoct a, a bunch of these potions and poisons okay mallory is just going to be moving to where she has a good clear shot at the little troll lady yeah yeah <laughs> And then uh, she's going to be uh, saying, um, how do we know that when we go up to get the key, you're not just going to bolt out the door? Uh, well, if I do, you still get the key, then I didn't left with nothing, so uh, no skin off your neck, right? I've got nothing to lose here. I live with these... Happy, I was going to say a really horrible word, but I'm live on stream. <laughs> <laughs> How about you leave us your spleen on the table as collateral? I can help with that. <laughs> I think I have a spare somewhere around here. Oh, I don't... all right then. <laughs> so how, how much is this key worth to you then? Uh, honestly, the things that are left down in the treasure room I haven't seen or looked at for many a years, it's not really worth much. I'd rather, what's in it for me is you getting rid of those damned harpies. Okay, well, we'll, we'll need at least a down payment. Uh, I'm going to uh, help. I've got a skill in bartering, by the way. I don't know. If there's I am. There, but I would like to uh, maybe... We'll get this key for you, and you give us a down payment, as you said, Wilgus, of three uh, potions. And then when we give you the key, we'll get three more potions and our pick of what's in the treasure room. Well said, Digby. Uh, yeah, give me, give me a roll uh, on bartering, then, if that's what you're... Okay. I've only got a 12, but something... A one. One is uh, pretty damn good. Uh, so yeah. Um, so what? What did you? So what is it that you're wanting? You said a down payment of like three potions. Yeah, is that what you said? Yes. And then when we get back, three more potions, and then uh, our pick of what's in the treasure room. Ah, uh, you know what? You, I, I, like you said, I've got nothing to lose. I, uh, what I can give you, maybe this, uh, maybe this will help. I'll let you have your own choice. Yeah. And she moves off to one of the other tables and comes back, and there's just these three little glass vials um, with little purple uh, liquid, and it's so mystical and swirling. And she puts mm. those down there. And she goes over and grabs three of these uh, ones that are similar to the healing potion she held up before, and she puts three on the table next to it. There's a clump of three healing potions and a clump of three of these, this purple uh, liquid. Um, she says, you, you can take your pick. You can have the three healing potions. Oh, and she leans in close to you, Digby, with this big excited uh, look on her face and you can smell um, her sort of teeth and her breath uh, as she speaks into your face. Oh, you can have these. And this will help in regards to getting up to the harpies. Each of these vials contains basically the elevate spell. These will make you float as if you are like a feather and you can float your way up to the top where the harpies are. F float, you say? Fizzy lifting <laughs> drinks. <laughs> but if, I didn't but want to we, say. But. <laughs> yes. Is it, well, they, they, they look fizzy. Uh, it's a, but uh, can you fly or do you just float upwards let me, let me get, to, into a harpy's uh, grasp? Let me get the info on that. Into space where there's no oxygen. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd love to see a demonstration of this one just because it might just be itching potion. Yes, internal itching potion. Imagine yes. that. Also, when she's getting up close to Digby, uh, Mallory like quickly moves forward and is is like back up, back away from the boys. <laughs> right, I I love that. Yeah, Mallory is just like stone cold uh, for this this what it was turning out to be a kind of what seems to be friendly. Um, 
Do I have the information on this? It says it's the Elevate spell. I'm looking through all of the spell list and there is no Elevate spell. I knew it. No. You're trying to trick us again. <laughs> no, not even the in the book. She's, she's tricking me. Uh, <laughs> two doses of a potion with the same effect on the user as the Elevate spell, power level one. But it is... I might need to have a look at into that. Let's... This will mean that, yeah, we won't be eligible to take over this tower. Yeah, you know, boys, the... hmm? we, we, you shouldn't accept uh, strange drinks from strangers. <laughs> and we have all the information we need. Do we really need this lady? Now that I think about it. <laughs> no, you're in one piece. Hold on, hold on. We, we, we may not need her, but we're still civil, aren't we? We aren't murderers. This is a fine trollop. It uh, <laughs> lives here in this filthy hovel, this I'm, wrecked tower. I'm just going to. I'm just going to state in the closet. <laughs> I'm just going to state that I couldn't find elevate anywhere, but I can find levitate. We'll just use levitate as the rules. Uh, okay. Um. And sh uh, yeah, so basically it, it'll mean that you can just float in any direction uh, after which, after you've used up a certain amount of distance, you just land gently or drop to the ground, you can decide. So so it's like slow fly? Yeah, pretty much. Is it, so it's not straight up, it's like you point. You can pick, yeah. You can pick where to go. But you get like a very small amount of meters that you can go. Very like small six, six, six meters, which means it'll be enough to get up. It'll be enough to get you like over things if you had the spell, but this will help you get up. That's for sure. So, is is there no stairs that go up to the top? No, there? no, there's not. The only way up that you can see now that you're looking is either out the windows and climbing up those dazed, uh, scented roses, or through a couple of the holes that you can see in the ceiling. Okay. Well, this thing, what, what do you guys think? How about we take those just to get up there and uh, to try and deal with this harpy problem and also give us one or two of those potions just in case because we don't want to go up there and die and then, then you would have wasted these three potions and not got anything out of it. They would just be stronger from eating us. <laughs> You're right. And our blood would drip <clears throat> through the floor into your potions and mess it up. That yes. would just ruin your day. With a with a roll of one for your bartering, uh, she's just like, "Look, I just want to see those harpies gone. You take what you've got to take." Okay, I'll take the potions, all six of them, mm -hmm. and I'll hand them out to each. What do you say? We float on up there. Um, Let's do it. How about? Feed this First, troll to them? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> how about we use a rope so we can pull up the old grub? Because he's, yes. uh, he's still here. Yes, and, and for descending as well. We could we could tie a rope around a rafter. Uh, those harpies! <laughs> or grub, how about you guard this winch? And if she... Troll up. Yeah, if she, if she trollops... <laughs> You just gut her like a fish. How's that? And, and if she's nice, just talk to her nicely. Grub looks around sort of Mallory, because he has just been sort of sticking to Mallory's side, looks around behind Mallory and just for the first time really takes this uh, troll in. Um, and she, he, he looks up at you, Mallory, like you've gone crazy. Like, ah, yeah, I, I guess I could hang out with her. I guess she, she, seems, she seems nice. <laughs> Mallory uh -huh. looks down at him and is like shakes her head. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Grub's got a thing for trollops and his <laughs> friend's got a thing for harpies. <laughs> maybe we should brother. maybe we should bring his uh, what's your friend? Gimp? G <laughs> Chum. Oh. What is it? Chum. Maybe Chum w would uh, like a chance to get close up with these harpies. Well, Chum's down looking after the uh, yes. the warg and the donkey, making sure the donkey mm. was safe, or the cart, everything that was in the cart. Yeah, right. Yeah, Mark no Wahlberg, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. 
And uh, so, if you wanted, you could tell definitely tell Descartes. Grub to um, <laughs> you could get Grub to look after the cart, I guess, if you if you wanted to. No, it's fine. Grub, shall we go up? I uh, thought Grub was watching Trollop and the three of us adventure forth. Oh, and, okay. And lice in everywhere. How's that? Do you think we need to go all of right. Trollop? I mean. She's Worst case useless. scenario, we uh, maybe we burn down the entire tower as we die. Just to... yes, <laughs> no, and float out of here. <laughs> we'll have a sky <laughs> burial. Yeah, but we'll, yeah. we'll we'll make that plan B. Well, we'll maybe down a bit. We'll do the enlightening <laughs> first, and the key. Okay. Now, how's everyone's health? Good question. Oh, I'm what a, fine. What a, what a gentleman for asking, Digby. I'm I'm feeling ready to kill things. <laughs> okay. How, how itchy and angry is Will gets Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Descriptive. Uh, I've got eight out of nine. If I was to say <laughs> my health, I would say I'm an eight out of nine. And if you were to break it into nine parts. <laughs> Yeah, that's how we do it. We in Dragon Bay. Base nine. So it's base nine. Out of nine. Yeah, base nine. If, if I was going to pick an integer, 15 out of 15 probably would represent my Good. health. Mm. Um, mm. By the way, these healing potions, they get you back 2d6 HP. So they're pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to put that in my. Uh... Is that in roll 20, I wonder? Uh, that should be. Have a look in the journal and uh, maybe, maybe. There's healing potion dose and healing rare healing potion dose. Uh, let's have a quick look because you can click on them and it brings up the details. Don't drag it into your character. And that does not say. And that does not. Say, oh wait, uh, rare healing potion. Oh cool. All right, I'm going to put one in my backpack. Okay, cool. You will become a healing potion. <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, all right, guys. I I've really enjoyed this conversation, but killing sounds much better to me. I'll go up first. How's that sound? Yes, after you. Well, not directly after you. Someone else can go up before me, but eventually after you. All right. I I will cover you, boys. If if I explode when I drink this potion, kill this trollop. Slowly. How's that sound? One hundred percent. Okay. Uh, Do you really up. have to drink her potions? Oh, too late. <laughs> Down it goes. Oh, it tastes like grape. That wasn't so bad. It was a grape flavored one. Um, I guess the it is it is exactly the potion that she claimed it to be. So I want you to maybe uh, state what it feels like as as it uh as you drink it as it activates within you um as wilgus drinks it 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 reminds him of some cough syrup he had when he was a young lad and it it washes down the back of his throat and it starts to bubble and as it reaches his stomach it hits his bloodstream and fizzes his blood and then he realizes that that fizzing is decreasing his body weight in the realm of reality and he starts to float off the ground maybe two feet off like one of those dreams you just can't get high enough yeah and then he realizes he can actually control it a little bit mm. oh guys look look i didn't die you're floating oh. um, this is marvelous and and the the troll just says uh don't use it all up straight away you've got to get up to the harpies uh you only get about six meters worth of floating with a dose that size thank you troll lady i'll um i'll go straight up then see you guys there soon and we'll guess we'll boost. Yes. Maybe you could lower us a rope and then we could climb up and then if we need to get a little bit higher later on, I don't know how high it is up there. Great idea. Um, Who's got a rope? <laughs> I oh, Chum. don't. He, he, he looked after our rope when we went down in that crypt. Chum. Yes. Grub. Grub. Uh, Grub. Grub. Badunk. Oh, yes, grub <laughs> did. Bargity boo. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the one here and not the one outside. Rope well, before guy. we met Chum. Actually, that's a good point. Uh, mm. Sure, grub, 
Grub uh, has the rope still uh, at his side for some reason. He's just been, he's wrapped it around his waist for the last week, mm. I guess. It's uh, a goblin belt. <laughs> yeah. Um, he goes, ah, I guess, ah, I've, got your, I've got your rope right here. And um, he unravels it from his waist and sort of launches it towards Digby. Or maybe Wilgus before you fly up. He, he sort mm. of just t- throws an end of it up to you. Thank you, Grub. You're in for promotion when we get into our empire. Thank you. And Wilgus will take the rope and fly up through the gap in the floor. You go through the gap in the in the floor and at the top of the tower lies completely open to the sky. The sweet stench of roses is almost overwhelming there's huge black and red rose bushes clinging to the walls um, and in the middle uh, of this roof area uh, you see a shallow pool of dirty rainwater with big dark feathers floating on the surface and you can the the harpies uh the sound of the harpies just kind of comes to a, a stop as, as soon as uh, Wilgus breaks through the floor, he's going to try and affix the rope to some of the broken floorboards and secure it. Um, can I get... Uh, because I did say that the, the smell was overwhelming. Also, those harpies really lied when I said that they stopped straight away, didn't they? They were just like, we're just going to keep going. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, their sound... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, or they're getting louder. <laughs> yeah. I said they are stopping. Uh, can I get a con roll from you, please? Con uh, roll. Wilgus. Can anyone else hear them? Uh, Wilgus rolls a nine and he needed to get underneath a 15. Okay, great. You managed to... Uh, need to have a look at the rules for these flowers again because I believe there was some kind of... I'm trying to remember if there was some bullshit or if it was just as simple as... Nah, no bullshit. <laughs> uh, where are we? The roses... Mother Quickly mother. hurry up before the DM finds the rules. No, that's fine. You're, you're totally fine. Um, for some reason, you, you manage to keep your breath nice and shallow and don't get too much into your lungs. Um, and now I can finally shut these harpies up. Harpy screeching. Turn off. There we go. Uh, and the rest of you, what are the rest of you up to? No, okay, well that just... still going. <laughs> that still just happened, doesn't it? Can we turn you off or not? Is this going to undermine me the whole way? Oh, they're they're screeching they're elsewhere? They're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Alright, well, we can, we can turn that off for a second. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is... <laughs> Aww. For some reason, the harpies are continuing despite not being... You cannot see them anywhere at this point. Oh, uh, they've gone. Maybe, maybe Marky Mark is, like, rocking them up at the front of the town. Marky Mark is rocking. Oh, my God. Yeah, rock. <laughs> rocking Marky Mark. Yeah. Um, cool. I think they've finally shut up now. Uh, so, Wilgus, you're lowering down the rope. What are the other... What's Mallory and, and uh, Digby up to? Mm, Mallory is looking at Chubb and saying, Chubb, I'm relying on you to keep an eye on this one. Be careful. He's don't like, trust her. He's just like <laughs> nodding slowly with every word, like he's really trying to concentrate. And I turn to her and I'm like, if anything happens to this dear boy, something will happen to you very quickly. And then backs away and goes up to the rope, I guess. Haga would never hurt us, such a precious little thing. What? Haggle? Can... Ha- Haga. 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 Haga the horrible. Haga. <laughs> Haga. 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 Yep. And up the rope. Oh, you're not Should even go? taking your potion. You're just going up the rope. Yeah. Yes. We're going to get a roll. <laughs> Everyone's... And, and, oh, no. Yeah. I was thinking, like, well, if we've only got six meters, maybe if one of the the harpies heads up into the sky with the key, it's hey, like, look, I'm going to need that. If you yeah, want to yeah. take the rope, yeah. then yeah, you can yeah. absolutely take the rope. Also, also don't want to use the potion 
uh, as much as possible because still doesn't trust the troll gave her like uh, it's like mm, right right mm. but okay what am i rolling for? it's gonna be a it's, real adventure without a rope yeah well see, this is this is that point you can not roll just by taking the potion it's as simple as that mm -hmm. um mm. but because you're taking the rope it's going to be an acrobatics roll acrobatics oh my gosh i'm gonna i'm gonna ill temper it <laughs> so that i don't fall in my face yeah yeah plus rolling so, in dragon bane is great because you might get a one or a 20 and then you can level something up that's that's the whole yes. point What's okay the bow? Ill ten oh how do i did that take it off already i have no yep. idea and then i add a little boon chuck a boon on it boon on and it was acrobatics okay come on yeah, acrobatics. yeah. Be what's your acrobatics score it's a uh, 14 and i got it yes a three. three fantastic <sighs> you can just describe I, your ascension up the rope um puts her bow back where it goes gives the forked fingers to her eyes to the troll and back again <laughs> I, was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna be mean and say hi Hager ha ha just goes ah! Just as you... And then just a stab. <laughs> no. <laughs> Haga does not do that. And then, yeah, she's just quick as a rat up that rope. Okay, cool. You get um, to the but top. But also, also oh. gives a quick look down to make sure that Chubb's okay. Yeah. And Digby's okay. Um, Looking around for that key. Grub just gives you like a thumbs up as, as you look down. Mm -hmm. um, and he's where, where he used to sort of stand with you. He's kind of just like... Snuggled up next to Haga now as he, as he puts his thumbs up. He's just like, <laughs> he feels very oh comfortable. Oh my gosh. You, as you're climbing up, uh, you see the, the, uh, the flowers and the, and the greenery uh, at the top of that opening with the sky behind it. You can see Wilgus up there as well. Um, so, oh, yeah. Oh, can she, would it be useful to like take her little old lady shawl and like put it over her face? To guard against the pollen? I, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I think what that will give is a boon to any rolls against it. Uh, because oh. even you, you prepare, you get the, the scarf around your, your, your shawl over your mouth as uh, your, your bill. Oh, you can put it over your yep. bill, I guess, as you climb up the rope. And as you get close, you can still, it's still just a hint of it penetrates through the shawl. Um, and I'm going to need to oh get a, a con roll with a boon. Awesome. Before, so I'll go back to like climbing up the rope, does the fork finger thing, and then like wraps it around, looks like a little nana ninja, and then scurries up the, the rope. Awesome. Nana ninja. Nana ninja. Ninja. Um, yeah, give us a con roll with, with a boon. Con roll with boon. Boon, boon. Where's my con? There it is. Oh! Need it to 13, got 11. Perfect. You two have managed to just uh, breathe shallowly, shallowly enough to not be affected by, by the scent. Uh, Digby. Well, Digby is going to do a very similar thing. Uh, Digby has not very good acrobatics though for the 10, so rolls a one. This is what I'm saying. You want to roll, you want to roll because you've just soar up that right. Yes. But also, next time you do acrobatics, Backwards. you don't even have to, <laughs> you don't even have to roll next acrobatics. You can just do something acrobatic next time. Okay, yeah, so make a note of that. All right, so you just pocket the potion, the the the. Levitate potion? Yes, because I, I don't know how much higher there it is up there, you know? I imagine mm. it could be a very high ceiling. Cool. Um, uh, so you do the same then, I guess. Yes. Glad to see you made up, everyone. Ready your weapons. I imagine these harpies will be on us in a moment. Um, and I'll you... try and cover my mouth as well. Um, like you can hold your breath. There are actually rules for holding uh, your breath. Oh. Uh, if I can. Dane on talking if you're holding your breath. <laughs> mm. um, There's rules for holding your breath. There are. If I can find them, there are rules for holding I'll one's roll it. breath. Uh. 
not going to show up though. But it's, it's there is definitely a rule. But can I tell you what it is? No. Oh, page fifty three in the rule book. I can tell you what it is. For as Breathing. long as the player can hold their breath, they, can <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. they hold their breath. Yeah. Uh, it's to do. I think it's because of swimming. Like if you're um, if you're about to. And sniper rifles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, underwater, you need to make a successful roll against Con each round to hold your breath, not an action. If the roll fails, you begin to drown or you take a breath, taking blah, blah, blah. Um, well, how does that work for just not being underwater? It doesn't really. It just says... Well, you just drown. It just means holding you. Yeah, I drown in the... In your own lungs. But I guess... It, <laughs> <laughs> Mucus. So you can either roll a Con save against the smell of the roses or a Con save... For whether or not you can continue holding your breath that's there's a con roll no matter what it's the same thing yeah okay i'll roll con <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can decide I if got, you're holding your I breath i need a nine and i got a three okay. I'm coming up you guys are doing great you've all you, you you're, you're smelling the roses uh but you um, it's not affecting you thankfully let me move mm, you guys. nice roses <laughs> i don't think you're purposefully trying to smell the roses oh. uh Oh, those little harpy icons, shh, they're not there. They are. They are. They are. They are not. No, they're not. See? They Let's are see gone. They've gone now. So you're all seeing this now. This um, The top of this tower, as described to Wilgus, has got these rose bushes everywhere. It's got these big pillars that continue up another five or six metres up into the air. Let's say five metres up into the air. Um, but it's open to the sky. And what may have been a dome over the top of um, this, sitting atop the pillars, there's nothing there now. It's just an open sky oh. above. Uh, and rainwater has collected in this little pool um, in the middle and just these big black floating feathers. Uh, in this there's sky. like fresh water in the middle? It's rainwater. Uh, if you want yeah. to take some time to look into it, you might find something. Out of a cloaca. But it, um, does it, yeah, so does it, <laughs> like does a it look pond. like a, a dirty <laughs> like, duck pond? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, this water has obviously been sitting for a while. Um, so there's not just feathers in there. It looks like it may have been used for where these harpies, like, bathe themselves when they get a chance. Don't tell um, that dirty goblin at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever his Harpy name is. Harpy bath water. It's all, it's all rage. No, when they're bathing, yes, he'll be oh, up right. here. You know, he's into it. Um, so, be, but, but you'll notice the sound of these harpies stopped the moment Wilgus like ventured up into the top. Um, so, and you can't see any. Well, you can't see. Looks like around. there's no harpies up here. Yeah, Mallory's looking around for somewhere that might have a key. You guys look for the key. I'll watch for harpies. I'm sure they're about to attack at any moment. Feel free. Let's look under the flower pots. If you want to uh, take some time to look, you can roll a spot hidden. Ah, uh, yep. Yep, yep. Sounds yep. good. I go, oh, I succeeded. I got a seven, needed a 14. Uh, I need a 12. Yes. Can uh, Wilgus roll awareness for just looking around in the sky, being all watching? yeah, okay. absolutely. Cool. Oh, just got a fourteen. Need to get below fifteen. Yeah, cool. So let's Ooh. let's go through Wilgus. You're sort of keeping an eye on the sky, just standing near where you ventured up into this the the sort of um, this top of this tower. Um, and you're just keeping an eye, sword at hand. Uh, while Digby and Mallory, you sort of go off in opposing directions, or are you going together? What, what are, you, are you sort of circling around each? What are you? What's the plan? I'm scared, uh, so I'm sticking by Mallory. Okay, all right, all right. Um, okay, that, um, yeah. we'll circle around like anti-clockwise. Okay, yeah. great. You venture past like what is a, clearly an old chimney that hasn't been used that feeds itself down to uh, those, some of those alcoves that you've spotted on each of the floors. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, and there's um, silent, just wind whistling by, um, and there doesn't seem to be sort of any movement. Uh, you, get, um, you get to about here as you continue your search, and just for, for a moment, a part of the, the rose bush moves uh, 
uh, uh, maybe it, the, a certain part of the rose bush stays still as a, a bit of wind pushes through. So parts of the rose bush naturally move with the wind, and another bit sort of just stops as if as if it's leaning up against something and doesn't have any sort of movement. And you take a closer look, and with that spot hidden roll, you notice you can see some dark black feathers um, within the, that rose bush. Can I get another con roll from everybody, please? Uh, yeah. With a boon for uh, Mallory, and uh, yeah, Mallory's got the shawl over her bill. So, boon for Mallory. We'll just roll. Meets Four, beats. Eight. I got a nine. Okay, under 13. Four. And what yes. did Wilgus get? 14 need to get below 15. Nice, you all managed to, maybe you guys are getting used to the smell of these roses, you know, or the, just keeping your breath nice and shallow. Um, but yeah, Mallory and Digby, you both notice these thick black feathers uh, within the rose bushes. Mm. Wait, are the harpies affected by the roses? Or are they immune? Did we see this before? Were they immune to the roses? You've got no way of knowing. Mm. They surely wouldn't be hanging around here all the time. They'd just be passing out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's they? true. Maybe that's, that's, maybe that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, they they passed out. Oh, fainted again <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Why? <laughs> they, black, they wouldn't have their little bird, their bird bath. Yes, I know. Um, Stab it. Actually, you know what? Yes. I shoot the black feathers. <laughs> okay. Let's take a five minute break and we'll see oh. how that goes when we come back. I was going to think about bartering can, with these guys, but. It could only go hobbies. well. Yeah. I like that. Are they big Corey barterers? Cloaca gifts. There's only. <laughs> they've got plenty of cloaca gifts to give. Oh. <laughs> What's funny, like, I feel like I'm really bad at finding stuff in these rule books and stuff. I'm like, I need to but find... But you always find the cloaca, is that no, what you... No, I'm like, I can't yeah, even find... Page. I can't even find where that was now. And I'm like, maybe, did exist. I make it up? Yeah, sure. Is, this a, is it a real <laughs> book that you're looking at? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a physical book. It's um, just a mirror. <laughs> he's just got his hands off screen me. going... I'm sure it's in this book somewhere. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like, is it not a PDF? You can't search it. I'm looking at the PDF. I'll just search cloaca. Yeah. <laughs> As per usual. Oh, vomit. Maybe, maybe. I... It's not even showing that. It was all a dream. What is going on? Surely I didn't make that up. Okay, be right back. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> did I make it up? Maybe it was on the. Oh, maybe I mixed and matched with the. You know what I did? I didn't make it up. I um. Uh, it's in the. I think I got it from my imagination. Like the monster book. Yeah, I got oh. it from the monster book. From the. Um, let me get it out. Uh, the bestiary. Role playing game. <laughs> I got it from the bestiary where it's like um, it's what the bestiary does is it gives you like uh, all the details on the creatures, but then it gives you how to run a random encounter. And then it gives you an adventure seed for all of the different uh, creatures in the beastry, which is really awesome. Um, and uh, in So you this... rolled for Cloaca on, on the random yeah, so, table. Yes. There's one of, as you'll, I guess, find out one oh. of their, <laughs> one of their attacks is exactly Please. that. Please no. And let me just say, it does say, open their cloaca and mouths and releases Multiple. a rain, because it's like a group attack, I guess, uh, okay. a rain of vomit and excrement. on the, But so, so maybe it made more sense when it's a group doing it and one's vomiting and one's opening the cloaca, but Will just oh. got both at the same time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, thanks for everybody for watching and tuning in. I do want to just say, uh, can I, I might bring up the list of our Patreon supporters, just so I can Hooray! say, so I can say a quick thanks to them for um, helping, helping us, and making sure you know that we're able to do this every every week. Well, I try for every week. It hasn't been every week lately because uh, things have been uh, awkward, but things are back on top now, which is great. Um, top of the tower. Top of the tower, even. 
Uh, so who is currently active? Big thank you to Tracy Booth, uh, Andrew Evans, Lyndon Hurd, Squished, uh, Drop Shadow, uh, QSD, George Friend, and The Foolish Fool. Thanks to you for constantly, month after month, supporting us via Patreon. Um, please, if you do like what we do and you want to support us in some way, please do head over to our Patreon um, and uh, sign up and just... You know, every every cent, every dollar that we get goes straight back into this in some form or another. Another thing that it's totally going to go into is what I've been working on on the side, which I've been showing off on the Discord, which is turning a lot of the Getting Dicey stories into a full-on, like, Fire Emblem-style video game. I've just been working on, for the last, like, seven weeks, I think, working on putting together a bit of a prototype, and the prototype is almost done, and it's looking really cool. Um, you can see examples of it uh over on the discord um or uh on my own personal like instagram and and stuff like that so definitely check it out but um anything from the patreon will also be going to that and so i'm not going to take the piss i'm not going to just be like uh everyone's going to go spend a thousand dollars on um worker models <laughs> exactly <laughs> that actually is a very important part of, of, of fire emblem in general so i think <laughs> um but yeah it's coming along really well it's looking really cool uh, I do at one point, when it gets big enough, and I mentioned this in the Discord, I do have to have like an epic Jap rock, like Japanese, like J-Rock style uh, anime intro, I think. Has to, has to be in there. Great idea. Yeah, yeah, has to. There's so many good ones. Is that a song? J-Rock is a genre of music. Two songs. <laughs> yeah, one's called J. <laughs> yeah um wait so like you're going to find like a song that you like or are you gonna find a band i mean in in the grand scheme of like blue sky thinking right is you yeah. gotta get you get a, a band to write and create the song oh. for you that's like blue sky oh, otherwise you just would, license a song right it would be so amazing because the intro would be the getting dicey intro and then i would want to at least start with that riff for sure you have to oh, just perfect. rips into it it's like yes that would be awesome we're talking j-rock be... intro music for the, the video game shannon and would there be an anime video at the same uh, dude, time dude i would love a fully animated 2d intro that would just be fucking peak for, for yeah. a project like that it would just be so cool i don't know if i don't know if i could get uh i, I don't think anime style would fit very well with what we're doing but uh, it doesn't have to. It can still be two D animated without it being anime style. No, it'll be like you know Nintendo <clears> game, <throat> like Final Fantasy on on your little. Uh, I'm, talk I'm talking like full on like Attack on Titan quality. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh! <laughs> full just orchestra. Go just go, yeah, just go yeah. hard. Anyway, so that's where your Patreon money will go. <laughs> I just need. One big Patreon supporter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boom. Called Nintendo. That's all I <laughs> yes. need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all I need. Yeah. Getting dicey on Titan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I need to think of what I want to call it as well. Do I want to just come up with some sort of name? Do I want to lean on the getting dice? I don't know if I want to because there's not going to be dice involved. And it's not like we have a massive audience. There's no dice? No, it's Fire Emblem. This is yes, a Fire Emblem style. But you can hide... Oh, there's definitely dice rolls dice. for for certain things, but you don't see the dice rolls. Just, you know, just have like every time you do anything, just hundreds of dice fly around the screen, <laughs> and they have no relation to what you're actually doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just the exploding dice, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> just thousands of them. You know, yeah. it just becomes. Okay, well, as that's... you level up, dice fly around. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's where the Patreon money will go. It's thousands yeah, yeah. of like hyper detailed 3D dice that roll yes. in. It's... And your characters wade through the dice <laughs> as they get it gets more and more yeah. as they level up. It's like, oh my god. You could theme everything on dice. Literally everything. They get down to like the dice swamps and stuff like that. Yeah. The, the dice yeah. trees and things. Everything's dice. Yes. I'm down. I can do that. I think. I'm sure there's some code. I can do some if you code. if you get down to just one die then you die <laughs> yeah. maybe you start with a thousand dice once you I get the like other that. one you die that's actually yeah. very clever that's very <laughs> i like that well yeah I, original character 
Um, all right, let's get back into, let's head up back to the uh, top of the spire. That is, the harpy screeching is back now because oh, they're as back. you, so do you, Mallory, you raised your bow, is that what you did? Yep. And, you, and as you raised the bow, uh, there's a scream from the, the, the uh, bush in front of you, but I will let you uh, oh, no, get I chose the surprise. Poorly. I will let you get the surprise hit. Um, please roll to hit. Let's see, oh, a roll. I yeah, want... is it a roll? I always forget. Yeah. Is it? What are we playing? Fire in the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, one die. You so die. These... Well, if you no! beat these things with a uh, bow and arrow, well, they did. Yes. Maybe. Okay, I'm going with my longbow because that's why I said, "Hey, Ed." Quick. Oh, meets beats. Meets beats. And that's 13 damage on a feathery harpy butt. I just need to check something because 13 damage is, is really very good for. Uh, as I just know sometimes uh, Roll20 doesn't have things set up perfectly right. And why, I'm, why I'm saying that is because 13 damage. Gonna... Sorry, I just, yeah, I just looked at it and it's like Longbow is D12. <laughs> you kill all of the half. You get a bonus, is, is, that, is, you is, a bonus? is that like a special point blank bonus? Wait a second, with the Longbow, what are the rules on distance for that? Is there's surely a Longbow isn't designed for like, oh, 10 feet's probably okay, but there will be like some kind of... Yeah. It's, the, it's designed for like across across the yeah field, sure but you right? can't miss right if you're like yeah because you're <laughs> ten feet away right yeah. Yeah. because the side of a harpy it's just, it just it, honestly through. it just says range of a hundred uh, and so ten feet in that that arrow just where are you aiming if, with this harpy don't is say it, it. Is it screech <laughs> 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 don't say it well that's why they're screaming. No. No, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I can't. Okay. I'm center of mass. Center of mass. It just yeah. drives straight through, and mid scream, just it stops and slumps down onto the ground, completely dead. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Digby winces. Mallory. Mel is, is Mallory. It just stuck like like a into the concrete, into the rock. Yeah, like it, it was like it's such force that the arrowhead like digs into the rock. Skewered. Yeah. And um, and there's no key on this thing, is there? Oh, uh, well, you, you don't get a chance to really take a, a look at that. And um, you hear one of the uh, harpies just scream out, Thorn! And burst up out of the rose bushes, um, and they, and another one, another maybe um, ten meters away, boosts up out of the rose bushes, flapping its wings. This na the naked form of these harpies um, with these disgusting sort of faces on them, um, shriveled and old wrinkly skin with these black feathers coming out from different parts of their body, keeping them afloat with every beat of their wings. Um, they scream out, and we're going to do uh, an initiative roll now. Uh, so we're going to pull cards for initiative. Uh, we'll start with Mallory. Oh, initiative over here. This fucking harpy screaming in my ear. Oh, yeah. Oops, where did my card go? I can see it. It's a, oh, there it is. It's eight. Uh, Digby, can you pull your card, please? Uh, yes. Four. Wilgus. Does Wilgus get something for his succeeded awareness roll? Um, well, you were out looking at the skies. There's, you've seen nothing out in the sky. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Ten. Okay. Uh, and I will pull a card for uh, the remaining harpies. Now, Mallory, even though you pulled the eighth card, you actually, that's swapping over to be a one since you got... Us, the surprise attack. So you've already had your attack for the round. Um, Digby, over to you. So, uh, well, the only thing I can do really is I pull out my sling and swing it around and and fire at this middle one. Okay, cool. Give us a roll. A seven, and I needed a thirteen. Oh, you know, you, you meant to click on the weapon, not on the skill. Oh, it happened again. 
So just roll, just roll the, uh, the weapon, and we'll take that seven as the. Uh, um... Oh, it succeeded a ten, and damage of four. It's a bit shit compared to a longbow, I think. Yeah. Okay. No, that's cool. Um, I'm just trying to see what we bounces off it. Uh, it still hits. Like, it still hits, and uh, like you can hear it like crack against like one of its ribs. Just like ksh, you can hear that um, stone on bone, stone on bone. Uh, mm. Any free? So that's your main action. Any bonus action that you wanted to take? Yeah, I'm gonna yell out. Look, give us the key, and we'll give you something in return, and we'll all live happily ever after. I'll give you something and it just starts like flopping it's like grabbing and like doing what? grotesque things with its body in your direction um and it just like soars down towards digby with its like big talons and and wings flapping big talons yeah it's got big claws it's got big claws on these so that's just one of them that responded to your thing we're gonna roll an attack see what they do it's Bring Chum up here. Okay, the um, it just flies down and tries to tear at uh, Digby's eyes with its sharp oh, claws. Um, not my eyes. It does five damage, uh, and manage <gasps> and manages to scratch shoosh, clean across your face, um, <laughs> filling your eyes with with blood. Huh. Um, and you. Notice puppy dog eyes. And you're gonna be blinded yeah. um what? and you're going to be acting as if you're in total darkness for one stretch <laughs> okay. which is like 15 minutes as this blood yeah. just pulls in your eyes uh and it's just put the pain and you've lost sight you can you can hear it, this wings uh of this creature next to you but you've lost all sight my eyes are blind um the other hardy, i only lose one hit point i think Oh yeah, because you've got your armor. That's yeah, good point. Um, this other one, uh, how far away is everybody? Oh, you're actually far enough. How much movement do they have? Okay, they've got a decent amount of movement. Uh, this harpy, um, the one that didn't charge uh, Digby, so I'm just going to put the one right next to Digby. This other one sort of like flies. Um, close to the center above this water with just like an armful of small um, rocks uh, and just like starts hurling these rocks in all directions at each of you um, doing two bludgeoning damage uh, to each of you minus your armor uh, whatever your armor mm, stat is hopefully they bounce off my armor cool um, yeah, that's enough we'll get some armor too Okay, nice, nice. Wilgus, speaking of Wilgus, it is your turn. You've got one harpy above the water now, like maybe two meters above the water surface. Um, and this other one, which is maybe, uh, its groin is about Digby height, uh, just next to Digby as it's just finished like clawing at Digby's face. Right. Uh, Wilgus is going to see uh, Digby's being injured and just call out, Digby! And he's going to sprint over to the harpy. Um, and with this knife, just try and cut the femoral artery of the harpy. Okay, give us a roll. With a clicky. Click. Uh, Digby rolls uh, four, need to get below 16 for 12 damage. Watch out! That's, that's more than the amount of hit points it has left. So tell me what happens with this. Uh, right. Seeing his comrade um, severely injured and his little run-up gives his, his dagger a bit more zest as he zips it through the air and he screams out, Unloaded, man! And just hacks off both <laughs> legs in a, in a single swipe. <laughs> and his blood just like squirts out from both of his legs and it topples down onto the ground, bleeding out and dies. Yeah. Leaving, yes, this, one, well, yes. leaving this one harpy... Um, sort of two meters above this this water this this rancid pool of still water uh we are going to let's uh recall initiative because we are gonna redo it i'm gonna shuffle those cards again um mallory do you want to take the we'll do the same order mallory take a card okey doke mm -hmm. six 
Cool. Uh, Digby, take a card. Nine. Wilgus, take a card. And two. And the Harpies take a card of an eight. We're going to straight back into you, Wilgus. You see this, uh, with now this Harpy that you've just attacked, like dying on the ground in front of you. You look around and up to see uh, this other Harpy, just menacing look on its face as it screams out, Thistle! Thorn! No! Uh, Wilgus will aim his dagger up at the, the Harpy and be like, You're the one that shit on me! <laughs> he's going to just take a leg up from this little step here. Uh, and leap up and try and hack at its wing with his dagger. The you, I'm just trying to think. Oh yeah, because you're you're about two meters tall. You just sort of run up, jump. Yeah, cool, cool. Give us a roll. Like Michael Jordan. Yeah, you is he still slow. flying? Is he still Wilgus. able to fly? Oh no! Wilgus rolls terribly. He got a bad roll. Oh, twenty. I we haven't had like a. Quite okay, fail. so there are rules in regards to like rolling a twenty on an attack um, that I don't think we've, I don't think we've dealt with. Mm. Uh, no, we'll guess my brave, brave boy. <laughs> okay, with a with a roll of a twenty on that attack, I'm I'm afraid that you you miss completely. Like the harpy um, sees you coming, um, darts out of the way, and you were expecting like to land on it to help you sort of to guide your the force in your of your landing and you miss completely and come face down first into that water and you you sort of lift yourself up and you notice your dagger sticking out of your chest oh um that's five points of damage well five minus your armor does that give All you right. some damage yeah it does okay so i i suffer uh one point of damage okay <sighs> So it's not too badly in. It's managed to find a gap Did you in some get him, of your armor. Did you get him, Wilgus? <laughs> and he's like spitting out this rancid border and just oh. being very pissed off at life. <laughs> again. Still and again. Yeah. Uh, Mallory. Okay. Going to use ill tempered again. Oh, yeah. And then chuck a boom on it. And nice. then. Just gonna string the longbow again and take another shot. Come on, get this stupid harpy. Yes! Needed a 17, got a 2. And, and it's. 13 damage! Yeah. Mate, describe <laughs> describe the the horrors that uh, befall this harpy. Huh? <laughs> harpy is like. I've. I've headed up to here with these mother fluffin' harpies on this mother fluffin' tower, and she just draws the bow thwack right through the chest. Or maybe right, yeah, no, right through the chest. And then straight away is like running to her boys because they both hurt. And she's so, so furious at everything right now, but she's just <laughs> concentrating on the blind dog and the stab boy. Um. Each of you, I'm just going to need to get another con roll. Uh, obviously, with a boon for you, Mallory, this is just the scent of these roses again. Lucas passes with a 12. And passed with a 5. Mallory has passed with an 11. Nice. You guys are rolling very well uh, for these. And you guys did amazing damage. The, the fight with these harpies is over. Um, each of them, one impaled with a, a, an arrow against the uh, the stonework at the top of the tower, another one lying with its legs uh, removed, and another one uh, bleeding out into the water surrounding Wilgus. Oh my gosh. Digby, are you okay? I can't see. Hold still. Where are you? Follow Where your nose. Was... The, the smelly man approaching you. Oh, I can smell you. Um, and don't the, get any closer <laughs> on the 1st of October 2024 Wilgus mm -hmm. rolled a 1 on his healing roll oh, which yeah. means I don't have to roll for next time I heal so I'm wondering if I can do any bandagey eyeball-y goodness for Digby yeah I mean just just. Uh... I think there's something just stuck in my eye 
Yeah, well, uh, maybe. What's the, the claw? What is the healing rules? We haven't we haven't used them too much, so let's have a quick look. That has to be during a rest, is it? Um, mm. I've got bandages as well, if that helps. Yeah, you can only do healing through either a stretch rest or a shift rest. So you're welcome to spend 15 minutes up here, but that will require like a whole bunch of, of rolls against the um, the roses. So uh, oh. otherwise you might want to make sure that you're safe away from these roses before taking a stretch rest. To Don't worry away. about me, Wilgus. I'll never see my family again, but... <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, here for the key. There's a massive toenail like stuck in both of your eyes. That was a pretty <laughs> accurate. Yes. We could probably pick that out, but oh, not up here. Yeah. It, I, I think, yeah. How about, my eyes are watering. I think that normally helps. You're, you're making it worse. Out. <laughs> stop. You're like pushing it further in. Uh, Mallory, can we. Um, I'll just I'll just sort Digby out downstairs. Are you okay to, with, the, with the things? Yes, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll have a quick look around, try and find that stupid key. Yeah, right. Yeah. Digby, hold on to my hips. We'll conga line to the rope. Okay, I'll hold your hip. That's, that's how they normally do it, isn't it? <laughs> yes, his hips hip. don't lie. Follow, follow Wilkins. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow these hips anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. Um, Cool. As as Wilgus and uh, Digby move off, um, you head, Mallory, you head towards uh, the first harpy that you killed, right? And you can see hidden away inside the roses, um, underneath where this was, this this um, this nest, obviously where this creature uh, nests. Um, and you can search that. It might take a wee while to search. Uh, yep. Um, so while while you do your searching, I guess. Well, I guess mm -hmm. what's what are you doing with um, Digby in regards to getting him down? Uh, Wilgus is going to call down to uh, Grub. Grub, can you um pull a table underneath where we are? So if we stuff up the rope, we, he's not going to fall as far. That'd be cool. Uh, I'll I'll give it a go. Um, as he says, as you can hear, like. <sighs> Sort of being uh, happening, the sound of wood on stone beneath you, oh, going very he's not slowly. Not doing a big hoik. Uh, <laughs> no. up, lady. We um killed all your your roof tenants, so any help would be appreciated. We've got a <laughs> yeah. eyeball right. dog guy coming down in a second. Yeah, there's a there's a like a table that's placed underneath the bottom of the rope. Uh, and with that, um, Wilgus will start to make his way down the rope and hold <laughs> onto one of Digby's hands get as low as he can and then just doink, and what? just pull me off, pull the off the edge. edge. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the bottom. <laughs> and delicately um, maneuver both of us down the rope. Okay. Uh, well, you do know you've got potions, but if you're not going to use potions and you're going to use a rope, you're going to need yeah, an huh? acrobatics roll. Let's do it. And I'm going I... to flip from the top <laughs> <laughs> of the blind... And the flip from, from the top, very top of this roof down to down below. Wait, you you did roll a one on your That's acrobatics. That's correct. Right? <laughs> Don't, worry. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm feeling quite good about my acrobatics lately. <laughs> and I'm going to do a back flip. Wow. The table below. <laughs> I think, yes, I don't think that's going to happen again. <laughs> Uh, we'll just roll acrobatic. That came over me. And he knocked it. Did you want to push that? Um, Wilgus, upon seeing the blind dog back in the road, is going to be pretty disheartened at his poor fumbling of the first few meters of the rope, and he's going to push and do even worse. <laughs> Okay, you you the, the the extra weight of Digby on your back. You're making you, like you said. You fumble that first. You like manage to the, just the extra weight. You do like slide like a meter down this rope before getting a better grip on the rope. Digby, you've sensed something's not right as as mm -hmm. um you can hear uh Wilgus sort of like trying to catch his breath for a moment. Um, Smell rope burn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you want. Uh, Digby, with your roll of a one previously, you can absolutely mm -hmm. get down off this with a nice dismount safely. 
Yes, can I can I assist Wilgus before you Or you can use your one yes. to assist Wilgus on this. One. I will I will do that. Okay. That's what cool. I'll use it. All right. Um you help Wilgus sort of like uh, breathe a little bit better and, and uh uh he manages to get back into it. Um what are, what are you what are you doing to help him uh focus or mouth to mouth. Uh, well, holding his hips, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I've got a special technique. I'm rubbing his shoulders as we're going down, and but like as I pitch each shoulder, it sort of involuntarily moves his arms. You're to, so that he can... You're gonna red it yeah, red it yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm Papa Tilly. Uh, You've got my teeth. Papa Tilly. I'm gonna be like a little. Well, mate, Dog I, in the shoulders. With the role of a one familiar, I can't, I can't say no. It's perfect. You, you puppet him to the right. ground. Wilgus, you've never felt more in control. Strangely, you feel like this is going amazingly well, and you get to the bottom. Okay. Um, I say, I don't know. I can't see what's going on, but I can sense it. Oh, <laughs> that was a proper adventure. Thank you, Digby. Thank uh, you. Mallory, I think to really go through all of the different nests up here to try and find the this key, right? Um, it's going to take you a, a good 15 minutes to go through and find each and everything, mm -hmm. which is also means you're going to be combating against the smell of the roses the in, entire time. Um, right. what, what we can do instead of doing uh, 6 times 15 rolls, uh, we're not going to do that. What was that, 90 rolls? We're not going to do 90 rolls. <laughs> Um, what we'll do is we'll give, let you just do one roll and this is kind of just shows your luck for being up there. It won't be with the boon right. because we're oh. going to, so it's instead of 90 rolls. Oh. Um, so just a normal con roll and that's going to be how you end up arriving back down, um, <laughs> with the, with the yeah. others. <laughs> yeah. I might need a puppetilly uh, assist. <laughs> uh, Duck <okay>. toy. <laughs> Gotta get under a 13. Oh, a 12. Yes. Just Great. made it. Great. Um, you search through. There's nothing in that first little nest and you keep going around searching for the other, what you assume there must be a nest for each one. Uh, and you find the second nest and there's nothing in that one. You go to the third nest and you're searching through and you're losing a little bit of hope. Uh, and then you find it tucked away with some other little scraps of like coins, a small like uh, low worth coins. Um, and some other little trinkets is just a solid iron key, decent okay. sized one. Like it's 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 a good like fifteen centimeters long. It's quite sturdy and thick. A uh, really good Where was iron it? key in one of the uh, nests, one of the harpy nests. In a nest. Mm. In among the flowers. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, Mallory just grabs that up, walks back to the the hole she came in, kicks a harpy corpse on the way. <laughs> it's just muttering to herself. Are you going to take the rope or are you going to experience some levitation? Um, oh, she, she still doesn't trust <laughs> that little troll. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ropes. Acrobatics and, roll. Oh, was that acrobatics? Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see how we go. Angry duck coming through. 17 when I needed a 14. Did, uh -oh. you, want, did you want to push Ooh. that? Um, nope. I'm just <laughs> no, 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 why not? You just didn't want to push that. We can have a rest after this. Just, just angry quacking all the way down. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, okay, so Wilgus, we'll go back to Wilgus and, and Digby for a moment before we get back to uh Mallory entering the tower again. Um, What's up, Dig Digby? You've like you've still got sort of blood pooling around your eyes, uh, making all of the the fur around your eyes sort of matted. Uh, and you still you can't see anything. And Wilgus has managed with your help to get you to the back down onto the ground, the solid ground. Um, uh, Wilgus, what are you what are you going to be doing with with Digby? So uh, Wilgus is going to use up one of his bandages mm -hmm. and his sweet healing roll from last time. Cool. Um, and he's just going to first dab away all the blood and then carefully extract two giant uh, harpy toenails, one from each eye, cool. and flick oh. them into a 
a glass jar, like a like a doctor in the ER, Ding! as it yes. rattles it into the, the thing, and then just pat his eyes down and. It's all right, Digby. It's all right. I'll um, send you the bill. <laughs> Digby, give me two d six, and that's worth it. And that's how much uh, healing you get from Wilgus. Wilgus, can you search the room for a cone so that he doesn't lick it? <laughs> uh, one and a five. Nice. Six. Six HP back. This this whole Thank process you, takes about a th- 15 minutes as, as Wilgus works to remove these claws from Diggity's face. Um, Wilgus, you've noticed there doesn't look to be any permanent um, damage. It's, it's, it's cut different parts, and it's mainly the bleeding has come from the skin around the eye, not from the eyeball itself, so it looks like the eyes are going to be okay. Uh, after 15 Recordious. minutes, you manage to bring some of that, maybe after about 10 minutes, Digby, you're able to see a bit more light, light and shapes. Um, and after that 15 minutes passes, you're able to see almost back to what you can see, but you're, you're pretty sure everything's going to be fine. Um, and you open your eyes just in time to see Mallory dropping. Eight, like, what was it, six meters, five meters, we'll say, five meters down into the... Son um, of a quack. <laughs> into oh my the gosh. Room. Um, which I think that means you take just two, uh, a fall of less than two meters inflicts no damage. Um, you can give me another uh, acrobatics roll, um, okay. please. And this just decides how you land, basically. Not in the face, not in the face. Uh, Are you able to 14, fly at all? Got a seven. Ooh. Okay, nice. Um, so what, Maybe what, I do flap and it just kind of writes me. <laughs> yeah, that, that basically uh, reduces your falling damage by half. So give me 1d6, please. It would have been 2d6. Oh. oh, dang. 1d6. It's a 10. Just maxed it out. So as much, Wow. <laughs> look, it could have been much worse, but you do take uh, d6 um, of, of damage as you just like slam into the ground this your <laughs> armor your armor does nothing just bam uh as really you slam direct down damage. The oh, ground. so yeah. no 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 armor armor does nothing <laughs> yeah okay. makes it worse <laughs> yeah ah! yeah heavier yeah. um and you've just got like you're like lying family guy styles on the ground but with the key the iron uh key in your hand you, you hear muffled in the ground I found the key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great job, Mallory. Are you, are you okay there? Do you, want, do you want some help? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm fine. Wait, where's the troll? Oh, she's right. there. Um, she, and she is uh, amazed. Uh, uh, you're killed. You actually did it and you got the key. This is, uh, this is amazing. Uh, um, uh, why weren't you here earlier? You you did make it pretty remote place to live, but oh, I chopped one of their legs clean off with a. Ah, you should go check it out later. It's it's messy. I I must I must take you to the the treasury. I, I must take you there straight away. We uh do we have some injured duck feet and eyeballs here? Oh, we were hoping for that second half of the the old dealio, which uh. Digby settled with you. I think it was 45 potions, wasn't it, Digby? <laughs> mm, yes, it was. Uh, I can offer you uh, what I have here, and also I can supply you with more if you need. I, I'm a master of potion making. I can give you anything you need. You ripped me of these harpies. I'll, I'll, I'll give you damn near anything I can make. What a wonderful trollop. <laughs> you are... It sounds pretty good. Let's have a little rest, shall we? While uh, we maybe have a cup of tea. I'm not resting with this troll. What? I'll be I'll be watching her. I'm not going to sleep while she's still here. She could slit our throats while we're asleep. She wouldn't do that. Look at must her. must protect. A uh, gr- grub as as you landed, it was like running straight to you to help you up and like try and get you to your feet and like dust off any sort of debris from from your clothing trying to make mallory look great just like looking mallory's up. just mm. checking grub it's like 
Did the troll do anything to you, dear? He's like shaking his head. No, 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 no. Mm. How about um, we take what potions you got, troll up lady, and we'll um, we'll check back in with you when we've righted our empire. How's that sound? Uh, yes, yes, and like I said, if you need me to make anything more while you're here, I'm more than happy to do so. Yes, well, um, what, what have you got? What kind of things do you make there? Yeah, you look around, um, there is obviously, uh, let's have a look at what else there is. There is uh, five doses of herbal concoction, whatever that is, uh, three doses each of lethal paralyzing and sleeping poison, um mm, there's one more drink that one there's one more dose of uh healing potion on top of the three that you already uh already took um and and then there's just other some things like there's food uh it looks like some sort of a grimoire uh with with haga's name like carved into the leather front um mm. so there's author what, uh that's my spell book <laughs> very good and what kind of spells do you know a, a troll like you with your your magical ways um well shit that would um, be a secret no, it's, it's clearly not any spells that can help me clean up in here is there no <laughs> You know, a broom spell, but, but what, what what kind of spells do you do? Sorry, uh, let's have a call. Be disparaging. Um, the grimoire, even. She mentions like elementalism, uh, mm -hmm. which is like you guys have heard um, of different schools of magic. Um, and I'm just trying to get a list of them here. So there's animism, elementalism, mentalism, and then just general magic. Um, and she mentions that uh, she's... Um, ah, I've been studying elementalism my whole life. Um, Impressive. Quite yeah. a long time then. So it's like uh, fire and... Yeah, earth. things like, like fire, frost. Wind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's all the kind of elements, all element based. Oh, so you, what can you do? What kind of element things do you do? Well, it comes at a cost. I'm not just going to show you, but I'm sure you understand magic here. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. Uh, just things with fire. Uh, oh, wind. Is that what you smell like smoke? Exactly, the smoke of elementalism. Oh, smoke. But is that an element, smoke? <laughs> it, come, uh, it comes with the fire. Wow, do you think you could teach one of us how to do, do uh, fire magic? You totally can learn um, magic from uh trollops tro trollops i don't have oh here we go teachers uh the easiest way but often most expensive way to learn spells from a teacher who, who already knows uh what you're wanting to think there is a prerequisite uh you can learn new spells you must have a skill level in that relevant school of magic or wow. any school of magic for general spells so i don't think you guys have any skill levels? I can't even see it on yeah. the on the thing. Uh, on you the can sheet. learn. So basically, you can get um, a level in it by getting magic talent. So as one of the heroic abilities. So none of you chose a magic uh, class, but you can, as a heroic ability, take magic talent, and that'll give you a point in that one of the schools of your choice, and then you can start learning. Um, so no, she can't teach you guys any magic. Uh, Not at this point. One day. Um. So so is the plan just to keep resting? So are there other people that need healing other than how's Mallory doing? <laughs> uh, Mel Mallory's about half at the moment. Okay. Half health. She's seven out of thirteen, All but right. she's not going to sleep because she does not trust the troll. 
Okay, Mallory's having a paranoid uh, incident. Nope. But I can understand. You know, you hate. Can't sleep. Troll will eat me. <laughs> you hate trolls, but yeah, um, we can't hang around here. You're not comfortable, are you, Mallory? How about we'll, we'll take these potions and uh, we'll go open up the uh, treasure trove and um, take mm. our spoils. Good idea, Tigby. Uh, and thank you very much. Uh, what was your name? Hagen does. <laughs> Haggis. 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 Yeah, sure. sure. It's Hagrid. Hagrid. Um, Hagrid. <laughs> so she says, anyway, why don't you come with me and I'll show you the treasure room. It's been a long time since I've been down there. I'll probably need your strength, big man. And he el she elbows Wilgus. Don't do that. I'll cut your elbow right off. <laughs> I'll just yeah. leave you like with a little, a little nub. And that's very... arrow drawn. Don't touch my voice. <laughs> yeah. So we got those potions, did we? Yeah, yeah. You guys managed uh, to. I'll have to get the list off you. Yeah, later. yeah. I mean, you'll take whatever um, you want from her. If you want to take mm. it all, then you take yeah, it. All of it. Yeah. You can sell them. <laughs> very. It's a very heroic deed. Uh, here we go. Let's. Um, have I put you guys on the? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me just bring. I remember where we put the rubble. Come over here. And Wilgus will scoop off some of those very relevant rocks which he placed over them. Yeah. There's that lazy Kristoff. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping oh, Christoph. well. Oh, Kristoff. Um, okay, so yeah, so the, the yeah, she heads back down past that middle floor and down the spiral staircase down into that bottom uh, entrance where the the body of the toad is de is there, and she just she brings her hands up to her face and she says, "Ambrosius, no, what did they do to you?" She sort of clambers over him and starts kind of like moving. He's he's not in a good. From what I remember, like. Wilgus went nuts. Yeah, he's just spread over an area that should be smaller, but it's a large area. Oh, don't worry about that. That toad went bad. It's gone from three to two dimensional toad. You got it. And she's like clearly distraught. And she says, ah, the trap door, if you could open that, please. She says to Ames, sort of a, over to Wilgus. Uh, Wilgus will put the key in and. Oh, there's no, this is just the trap door. Ah, okay. No keyhole on this. Wilgus yeah. will lift the latch and open the trap door. Yeah, it's just door. got this big iron ring on it. You grab onto the iron ring. Can I get a strength roll, please? With, um, with Bane, it's, uh, you go to put a bit of uh, heft into it and it's heavy. It's a very heavy trap door. Doesn't look like it's been opened in a long time. It's kind of stuck. Don't put your back out. Oh, it's heavy, but... Oh, yep. Ooh. And he manages it with a 10 and needs to get below 12. Yeah, perfect. You open that up um, and it's just darkness uh, uh, in front of you. As you see a spiral staircase, another spiral staircase, heading further down um, underneath. And it just spirals down into uh, complete darkness. Excuse me, trollop lady, can you tell us what's down there? Is it one floor, ten creatures, traps? Ah, uh, just the one floor and uh, a giant iron door ready for that key. Great. Have you got a, a fire spell which you can light up down there for us so we can see? I can fire a fireball that'll go out pretty quickly. I'd like to see that. I'm not going to do a fireball just to light a room for one and a half seconds. <laughs> it would be a little bit funny. I haven't the fireball seen a might... do magic before. The yeah. fireball might clear whatever's down there. And she's picking up little bits of the interior of Ambrosius the frog, still putting little bits into the vile trinkets and stuff. Oh. All right, maybe we go with frog giblet over there. <laughs> uh, I think I have a torch. Oh, I have an, a lantern, a lamp. Not right. a lamp. I'll light that. After you, then, Digby. 
Oh, you don't want to hold the lamp. I will if you can give it to me. Yes, yes, you hold it. Uh, okay, follow, follow me, everyone. We'll be treasure laden in no time. Yes, yes, after you marry. Let me just put... Grub, make sure you come with us, because... Go carefully, boys. ...carrying things. Mm. Are you not coming? Is is Mallory staying up with uh, Haga? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, you, you mean now that all the witnesses have gone downstairs? Oh, no. <laughs> Haga, what have they done to you? And what will they do to you? Uh, I'm just making sure this is all ready for you guys to show up. I think that's ready. Let's. So you, you honestly, Mallory, you're staying. You're staying up. Um. No. You can. You can. It's up to you. Uh, you know what? Mallory does not trust this trailer. What is she gonna do? She's gonna she's gonna draw out her her knife and like threaten hug and us <laughs> and it'd be like if you try anything funny it's it's lights out <laughs> and then she's like backing over to the to the um trap door and going down and is grub coming with us or is he yeah, saying... yeah, well, Grub's yeah. going to go wherever you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chum and Marky Mark and Donk 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 is on the main floor with Haggis, right? They're out the outside. They're outside. Just outside, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, wait. I think Donk. I think the donkey was inside. You couldn't get the cart yeah. in, so he. So that's why he kept Big Chum number. with the cart to make sure nothing was taken. The donkey's inside. So Mallory, so you threatened. And then you you you're you're coming down the stairs. You're following both Digby and yes. Wilgus, yeah. Okay. I think she she would have like got grubbed down the the stairs first just to make sure that uh, Hagrid doesn't act, like take out Grub while she's not looking. Yeah, and then goes down the, the okay. stairs. It's not too long, Wilgus. It's you you literally just head down um, and turn like one eighty degrees around the spiral staircase. Um, and you're soon pretty quickly met with this giant uh, iron, black iron door blocking your way. And there's a lock on the front shaped like a stylized dragon head. All right, team. This looks like the place. Wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you, Digby. You can do it. Uh, some people think that's rhetorical, but it's a genuine ask. I need the luck. Mm. Uh, um, and then Wilgus will good. use the iron key and try and pop the lock with it. Cool. Um, just having a quick look here. Uh, okay. Yeah. There was there was something, but I'm going to uh, ignore that one a little bit. I'm going to say that the 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 key. Um, fits perfectly into that lock um, and you you turn the key and there's just like this big chunk it's quite a it requires quite a bit of strength to turn that key and you can almost like you can feel it driving that mechanism free of the door um, and the door now unlocked just swings maybe open a couple of centimeters to show that it is now unlocked all right um we'll guess we'll rub one of the scars on himself from previous rooms behind locked doors recent times of injuries with traps and he's gonna get his eyes ready and look for traps yeah you push the you push the door open and what you find beyond the door is this great circular hall um, at its center stands a stone pedestal with a case at the top through the dust on the floor, you see a beautiful mosaic of four scenes divided into equal size, uh, sizes. Two of the scenes show magnificent uh, dragons 
and the other two show hideous monsters. There are three dark alcoves to the north, south, and east. Um, and if it wasn't for that light uh, being shone from that lantern, it would be completely dark inside. And that's where we're going to stop uh, for tonight. Boom, boom, boom. Nice work. Yeah. Uh, that was awesome. We did. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do the typical experience point system. Did yeah. you guys uh, play tonight? Did you? Yes. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, did you explore a new location? We did. I'm going to say yeah. yes just for, because of this last little bit. This last little bit. What this... about the the bird bath on the roof? That's totally just part mm, of the spire. I think this on. was. I think this. No. I'm still giving it to you. I'm still giving it to you. No but it's on a technicality. <laughs> uh, did you defeat one or more dangerous adversaries? I certainly did. Yes. Did you overcome an obstacle without using force? I say yep. you did. You got to the roof. Yep. That was a pretty big obstacle. Oh, I thought we were just we uh, bartered with uh, the troll instead of murdering her. I mean, and you also got into this crypt without. Well, you actually use force to get the key, but yeah. Uh, so you, uh, definitely a yes. Did you give into your weakness? Yes. No. Not not trusting. I think Trump. yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. Ooh. Um, cool. Let's run through and see uh, level ups by everybody. Let's start with uh, Wilgus. All right. So Wilgus chose acrobatics, awareness, evade, healing. Knives and swords. Oh, good luck. And I'm going to click the magic button and. Do you. Failed all of them. What? No, you got acrobatics. Oh. Acrobatics. Uh, but the rest you did not get. That's unfortunate. I oh, see so you only got one out of how many? Four. Out of six. That's six. six. <laughs> but are you rolling against things that have high scores? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to get the high ones. Yeah, it's like 15, 14, 16, 16. Uh, they're all pretty high. Um, and the only one you upgraded was a six. So that's a fear that that one made it. Uh, uh, Shannon, let's do Digby. Okay, I'm choosing acrobatics, bartering, bushcraft, evade, languages, and knives. Good luck. Was that like seven? Because I got two ones. Oh, nice. Uh, it was six, I think. Uh, so I got, what did I get? Uh, acrobatics. Mm -hmm. I got I got that. It yes. went over. Buttering, failed. I got eight. Bushcraft, yes, 19. Evade, no. Languages, no. I got a three. And knives, no. Okay. So I only got two, didn't I? And Mallory, are we going to see the 18 today? Oh my gosh, oh, I, really go. so. I, re I really hope let, so. I really hope so. Let me try this magic button one more time because okay. it hasn't worked previously. Has anything turned it did, up? Oh! It did. It did turn up. Yeah. Over oh no, Meat Speeds doesn't do it, does it? It doesn't. No! Oh! oh. No. I would I love had 17 on the bows and then oh. 17 came up. No. <laughs> but did I get anything? Oh, I got languages. Uh, and acrobatics. Got, and acrobatics. Okay, that's, that's so all right. So close that's for right. bows. Oh, my God. That would have been amazing. Wow. Uh, and you said <laughs> you already... couldn't get closer. Yeah. Right? So, and you said you've already picked out what, what heroic ability. Yes, I has. Oh, <laughs> That's exciting. I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, but we will have to wait, unfortunately. <laughs> Hopefully next week. We'll try again next week. Thanks for playing, guys. That was awesome. It was nice to run a yeah, session yeah. where I don't feel like death. So I feel feel great. Um, well, I'm glad that you're feeling better. That's oh, man. Really it was, good. It was brutal. Last week was easily the worst, which is why I ended up going to the doctor. Is that just, right? It's just uh, horrific, man. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. So really, like two days after starting the um, antihistamines of all things, just I felt completely different. Felt like a brand new person. So yeah, stoked. Great. Yeah. Nice. Um, must be some sort of autoimmune thing going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. 
So I'm hoping, uh, yeah. I, I've told Adam to talk to his doctor about it. Hopefully he gets on that and... Speak to your doctor. And hopefully he can join us <laughs> once he feels better again, because otherwise, if that keeps up, we're going to not have him for the rest of the campaign, unfortunately. Real mm-hmm. shame, real shame. But I get it. I get it. Uh, but we'll see you guys all next week. Same time, same place. Thank you. Thanks to everyone who stopped by and watched. Sorry, we don't chat very often to chat but we love you for watching it's awesome that you guys are here so yes. thanks thanks so much for the support see you guys all next week Bye. Bye everybody <laughs>